What up, everybody? It is your boy, BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. There are four things that I want to wrap to you guys about real quick. Now, the first one being, a lot of people have been asking me this question, and I made sure to get an answer for you. When it's in regard to lockdown, to rebellion, to the TNA show, to even the Twitch show, everything that's been canceled with Impact Wrestling, people have been asking, is it canceled? Or is it rescheduled? So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the lockdown card. If you guys have seen the card that was leaked for lockdown, I want to talk about those matches a little bit. Also, we're going to talk about why Madison Rain was on commentary last night. And then, fourth, just going to chat a little bit about if some of the shows the last couple of weeks have been feeling a little disjointed to you. Well, there is a reason for that. So first thing I want to talk about, all right, this is the, the big question, especially with lockdown and with rebellion. Now, what I'm being told, and I made sure I got this, you know, strong, strong source within the company, what I've been told, currently, there are plans that everything that's been canceled will be rescheduled. So, uh, you know, I, sometimes I've been talking to you guys on Twitter with, about rebellion and stuff like that talking about the main event or whatever, and people are like, well, it's not going to happen. Well, it's going to happen. It's just things are obviously pushed. They're on hold. But right now, as of now, now this is not in stone what I'm telling you, but as of now, the plan is for everything to be rescheduled and to happen at one point or another. Now, another thing people have been asking about lockdown is the steel cage. Is the steel cage going to be the one from Sammy Callahan versus Brian Cage? Now, a lot of people... Did not like that cage. I didn't personally have too big of an issue with it. I don't really remember it, but I don't remember having an issue with it. But a lot of people are saying, well, that cage is kind of a POS or whatever. So the assumption was they were going to use that same steel cage since the show was in conjunction with BCW. I'm being told that it is not that steel cage. It is going to be a new steel cage. And the steel cage was even tested and they, they set it up and all that. And then the show got canceled, but there are plans for a different cage, not the one that we saw for the Sammy and Brian Cage match. I can't believe how many times I just said cage in the last 45 seconds. So let us talk about the card. If you guys haven't seen the card that was leaked for lockdown, um, I, I guess, you know, we talked about the lack of build for this, you know, for this show. And when you look at some of these matches, you can, I guess, kind of see why there was no build. But I'm going to get back to the lockdown build in a little bit because I've, I've got some news on that, too. So the X Division title match was slated to be Ace Austin versus El Reverso. Now, we've seen El Reverso on some of the monthly specials. We've seen him on Explosion. You know, he's definitely an X Division type guy. does a lot of reversals and stuff in reverse, whatever. So he's cool. I like him. Um kind of ran for an X Division title match, you know what I mean? Um, especially when we're talking steel cages. You know, when we're talking cage match and lockdown, you're, you're thinking blood feuds or maybe not blood feuds, but pretty strong heated feuds, not matches kind of thrown together. That's not really how you do a cage match. But that was the X Division title match that is on the car. Last time we got an X Division match uh, at lockdown, I think it was... Uh, Tigre Uno versus Trevor Lee. So another match was Moose versus Suicide. That's obviously something they started laying the groundwork towards on TV. Who do you guys think Suicide is? Um, I think it was Trevor, I mean, uh, Caleb Conley who played that role for quite some time for Impact. This is clearly not him. Um, if I had to take a guess, I think it's uh, Wentz from the Rascals. But uh, maybe some of you know who it is or have an idea of who you think it is. So let me know in the comments. Uh, there was a blindfold match. And I don't know if this is supposed to take place in a cage. I mean, it would make sense. But a blindfold match, Johnny Swinger versus Willie Mack. I would per per personally have no interest in that match. Um, Willie Mack is obviously in line for a push and he's doing really really good things i think the whole johnny swinger um 
partner, I don't want to call it a partnership, but it, obviously they've been doing this storyline that's been just dragging out forever. I think it's holding him back personally. So I wouldn't, me personally, have much of interest in that match, but, you know, who knows. And obviously we know the Team Elgin versus Team Eddie. So Team Eddie, I'm going off my head here, was Tessa, um, Tommy Dreamer. You know I was really excited about that one. And uh, Daga. And that was against Elgin, Taya, and the North. So that looks real killer. Obviously there's the knockouts match, which I think is really cool that they did. All we know that Team Jordan is taking on Team Madison. We know that Team Jordan will have Alicia Edwards. We don't know at this point anything about Madison, you, her team. You, you guys have, may have seen stuff leak or whatever. Um, I, I'll be looking forward to when we actually know for sure when it comes out on TV. But you guys know me. You know I love Alicia, so I'm really excited that she's in this match. And then there's a multi-man X Division match, which is Aiden Prince, who would love to see him a lot more on Impact Wrestling, not just when they're doing BCW shows. Versus Wentz, so maybe Wentz isn't suicide. Is he going to wrestle twice in a night? Who knows? Caleb Conley used to, but I don't know if I do two cage matches in a night. Uh, Trey, so we got two of the Rascals, Rohit Raju and Jake Crist. I would love to see them incorporate Dave Crist sometimes. It's always Jake, but um, you know, very similar feel to what we see quite a bit. And then there was two matches that were going to be surprises, so we don't really know if those were going to be big builds or, you know, you know, uh, main event time matches, title matches. We don't really know anything about that. But uh, as far as I know, lockdown um, will be happening and just just like everything. So um, definitely keep an eye on that. It's uh, It's been a little difficult to watch Impact the last few weeks just because, you know, they're obviously promoting these shows and then they have to put the little disclaimer at the bottom. Well, it's been, you know, it's being rescheduled. So, um you know, fortunately, NWA, they were able to, you know, just not put the, the programs on. They had a little more control. You know, it, it, it's whatever, but uh, they've pulled it off. It, you know, hasn't been too big of a deal. Um, Madison Rain on commentary. First of all, um, David Penzer and Scott Demore on commentary were great, in my opinion. Very refreshing. Um, in my perfect world, if we could get David Penzer and uh, D'Lo Brown on commentary... I think that would be the best uh, commentary team they've had in a very long time. So, But it was really, really refreshing. You guys know how I feel about the current commentary, um, especially Don Callis. You guys know how I feel about that. But um, the reason Madison Rain was brought in, and uh, I think we might see her in the future as well, is because some, a lot of you guys already figured this out, but they brought her in to overdub um, some of the commentary because right now, so, we're, so this is the TNA show that happened last night. So lockdown would have already happened, and uh, there was going to be there was the commentary for last night's show was going to spoil the uh, main event of lockdown and some of the matches that happened at lockdown. You guys tracking where I'm going with that? So you know, obviously Madison is an easy fix because she, <coughs> excuse me, um, obviously Josh's wife. So easy fix to go ahead and do those. Um, overdubs, but you know that's why you know uh, with everything they were building and then everything that already happened, they had to go in and and redo some things. So that was the reason that we saw her on there. Um, and again, I'll just I'll take anything over Don Callis at this point. Um, what was the last thing I was going to talk about? Oh, so if some of the shows have been feeling a little bit disjointed to you lately. The reason for that is just kind of what I was talking about with the commentary. Um, some of the angles, some of the matches, some of the segments that we were going to see on TV were, get, were spoiling things that have already happened or things or built around things that are not going to happen. You know what I mean? So what I was told was that because we we've, we've sit here, I've complained about it a bunch. A lot of people have about the lockdown build and, you know not announcing the matches and everything. What was going to happen was they were actually going to announce the matches and build the matches in the two weeks prior to lockdown. So instead of announcing things in advance, like a lot of us were hoping, you know, they weren't just going to, you know, bust out a show out of nowhere. They were going to announce the matches and they were going to utilize the TV show to do it, which 
uh, makes me real happy because that's what I've been pushing for for a really long time for the monthly specials is push the damn shit on TV. And that's what they were going to do. So the two weeks prior. So with that, they've actually had to edit what I'm told to be about 80% of the show. You know, whether it's matches, whether it's commentary, whether it's, whether it's segments, all sorts of different things. Again, either giving away prior matches as spoilers or, you know, talking about, talk, I'm sorry, I'm hard, having a hard time <laughs> spitting this out. I don't have the uh, option to edit myself tonight. I'm just doing this in a one take. But, um, you know, it's given away things that are going to happen in the future that obviously is on hold right now. So um, that's what's going on. And uh, regarding with Sense Total Nonstop Impact is no longer going to be reviewing Impact on the channel. I will be stepping back into that role to review Impact each week. I don't know when it's going to start, when I'm going to start doing that. I may review the TNA show, but the thing is, if you've seen my Last video, um, I'm here in Mississippi on some military shit, and I forgot my microphone. So I may just use my webcam mic for the sake of the, the next couple reviews. But I will be stepping back in. It will not be the B-Side podcast. It will not be that format. It will not have the level of criticism that the B-Side podcast has. But it, it, it'll be you know harsh when necessary. And uh, my boy TW, who I brought onto the Impact Lounge, who did the uh, Talking About podcast, he's only put one episode up so far he's going to be my partner on that him and i have some pretty good chemistry together in my opinion so uh the plan is right now is that we're actually going to hopefully stream like the total non-stop impact guys we're doing that we're doing and do that on friday nights and on fridays that you know something happens between the two of us one of us can't do it then we're going to push it to sunday which you know sunday's kind of rough because obviously impact is on tv on tuesday and it's going to take a little bit more dedication for me to watch the show as it airs because I have not done that in months. Um, but, but we're going to get there. We're going to get the, you know, the lounge back going again. Obviously I took a break for a while, got really burnt out and had a hard time getting that back, but a little bit rejuvenated right now. So I will be returning to doing the review of impact wrestling and will not be in the B side format. That is it for me right now. Thanks for swinging by the lounge. I will talk to you soon. Peace.